This is multiplying um, polynomials, specifically binomials. This is day four from the packet. So the first thing that we're going to do, um, I'm going to do number one on the homework. This is just a standard x plus one times x plus two. And in this case, we can um, do this problem a couple of different ways. So the first way I'm going to demonstrate is with the boxes. Okay, so we're going to make a square, have our boxes here, and I'm going to bring down the first binomial, x here and plus 1 here, x here and plus 2 here. x times x is x squared x times 1 is going to give us 1x. Um, x times 2 is going to give us 2x. And 2 times 1 will give us 2. Once we have all these in our boxes, we're just going to move from left to right. x squared plus 1x, bring everything down. And now the second, um, the second row plus 2x. Don't forget your um, positive terms. If there was a negative in front, you'd bring down minus instead, but for these, all of them are plus. Now I can go ahead and combine my like terms, a positive 1x and a positive 2x. So my ultimate answer is x squared plus 3x plus 2. I've multiplied those two binomials to get this answer. I can do the same exact problem in a different way, and I'll show you how to do that. I can take x plus 1, x plus 2, and multiply them like this. I take this term, multiply it by this. This is called a, a double distributive. And take this x and also multiply it by 2. I'm going to go ahead and do that. x times x is x squared. And two, oh, x times 2 is 2x. Now I have to make sure that I do it for the 1, too. This is the double part. So I'm going to multiply the 1 times the x and also the 1 times the 2. So 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times 2 is 2. I'm going to go ahead and combine my like terms right here in the middle and come out with the same answer, x squared plus 3x plus 2. So let's try um, number 7 from a little bit different um, because it looks like this when you're looking at it on the page, x minus 1 squared. Now I can't distribute that too because there's that subtraction sign between them. It's a it's a binomial, so I can't just distribute the two. Um, we could if it were something like three x, okay, which is a monomial, right? And then you could distribute the two, but um, right here and right here. But because of this negative sign right in the middle, I can't. Okay, so. I get rid of these so it doesn't it's not confusing. Okay. So what this question is really showing me is this x minus one times x minus one. Because when we square anything we multiply it by itself one time or however many times it tells us. So if we do the problem like with the boxes, like we did for the first one. I'm going to take these terms and I'm going to bring them down. x right here, minus 1 here, x here, and minus 1 here. x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is a negative 1x. x times negative 1 is a negative 1x. And negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. I can bring everything down. x squared minus 1x because that was a negative in there, minus 1x, minus 1. I can combine my like terms here and here, and I come out 
with x squared minus 2x minus 1. So let's see that doing the, using the double distributive property. My initial question looks like this. I'm going to expand it out so that I don't forget what I'm doing. I'm going to multiply these, multiply these, multiply these, and multiply these x times x is x squared, x times negative 1 is negative 1x, negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and uh, negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. Again, combine my like terms, and I come up with x squared minus 2x plus 1. So that is how you um, multiply 2 binomials using both methods.